Now you want to go ahead and loop a section of it. Let's play back this music. And as you can hear, it's a nice music bed I would like to talk over and have loop while I do that. So I'm going to select a couple of bars here. And the way I'm going to do that is make sure the selection tool is highlighted up in the top left. And then I'm going to select my two bars, maybe this bar and this bar. And if I play it now with the play button, it only plays back once. But if I right click and say loop now playback, that will loop forever and ever and ever and ever. Which is absolutely perfect, just what I need. Uh, so there are many ways of getting there. Obviously, right clicking will help. I can also hold down control and click on the play button. If I hold down control, that will give me either play or play loop mode. Uh, there's also the possibility to go to options and you can loop the playback from there as well. You can also loop record, which is quite a handy feature because then you can record many takes of you saying something and pick exactly the right take. For instance, this is how it would work. Hello, this is Mike Russell. Thanks for tuning in. Hey, this is Mike Russell. I'm so glad that you're here. Oh, this is absolutely awesome. This is my best take yet. And as long as I stop the track before it gets halfway through the loop, I will get the last take that I recorded saved there. So let's listen to it mixed together now by playing back and we'll switch off the loop modes for the moment. Again, I'm just right clicking here to put things back to normal. Now, my voice isn't playing back because I need to route that through to my output. output. Oh, oh, there, there we, we go. go. Disarm, Disarm re recording and play. Oh, this is absolutely awesome. This is my best take yet. And I, I think that's pretty good. But if I liked one of my previous takes, the best thing about Pro Tools is it saves all of those previous takes that you loop recorded. So you could do this 20, 50, 100 times and have every take intact. Just right click and you want to look for matching alternates. And here you'll see a whole list of stuff. If you only want to see the stuff that applies to what you just recorded, uh, which is audio 02 dash and then the take number, go to match criteria up here and just make sure it's ticked to track name only. And then if we get out of that and right click on the audio go to matching alternates there now we only have our retakes so i can go for this take hey this is mike russell i'm so good or i can go ahead matching alternates and go for the first take hello this is mike russell thanks for tuning in so there you go i've got all my loop record takes and this is really handy if you're doing a singing session a voiceover session a voice tracking session for a radio station inside pro tools you can loop record do hundreds of takes if you need and get exactly the right tone and intonation that you're looking for now if you've watched this far i'm guessing you really like pro tools i'm learning and liking it too and i did an initial video that i really encourage you to go watch it's on your screen somewhere now go click it and you'll learn how you can start off recording inside Pro Tools.